Okay, good morning. We've come up to Lynmouth because this is a nice path here for me. No umps and bumps. And I can use my walking frame here if I need to. Because it's a nice tarmac surface. We've got the river here running down to Lynmouth. As you'll all know, we're on the north coast of Devon, Lynmouth's in. Very popular with the tourists. Beautiful spot. The river's not too flowing too fast today. Just enough though. I'll find a shot or two later on in the day, possibly. But you've got to be, it's an awkward on this because it's a deep gorge as such. So you do lose the light. If I don't get the shots I want today, then we'll just call this a bit of B-roll. And I'll come back another day because it's, it's only a 45 minute drive from me to get here. We've walked either side of the river and it's very lovely. Oh, they want money, love, to build a new bridge. I wonder where that one went. I, uh, I'm finding this hard, but I'm not giving in. I'm making my way up to Waters Meet. This time of year, though, sadly it's closed, and that's they won't be not especially for me to have a cup of tea and a wee. Because I'm posh, I don't just wee anywhere. Ah. I'm going to turn the camera a second again here because i got to watch where I put my feet. Bear with me. Whoop. Bear with me. i got to find something to put my arm against. Get my lovely wife to come and stand beside me so that I can spin the camera around and show you what's down below. No doubt you can hear the noise of this waterfall. Down we go. I would never in a million years get down there. It take quite an able-bodied person, I imagine, to get down there to take shots of that. But what an opportunity. A wonderful opportunity down there for someone to take some waterfall shots. Afternoon now. <laughs> we're we're just coming up upon another waterfall here. A bit slippery. There you go. I'm going. <laughs> we're coming up to a bridge in, in fact as well. No doubt children can get down there to swim in the the pond. <laughs> but as I say. We've got a lovely waterfall here, look. Now, if we're coming round, I'll pan round with it as I walk. we get another one there. No way in a million years could I get down there. I'll just walk as far as this bridge and show you. In fact, we're going over the bridge by the look of it. Since I was last year, they seem to have changed the way the path runs. Are you going over, love? We'll just walk to the other side, though. Sending my wife here out in front today to make sure that it can take my weight.
quiet here today. I could stop and take a photo, but just steady it there. I haven't seen any canoeists today. They seem to prefer canoeing down, kayaking, whatever you'd like to call it, down the, the dark and the team rather than up here. very quiet today, I've only seen a couple of people, but it's a very difficult location this because you, it being so deep, the gorge, the sun is only here briefly, uh, it's still shining a bit out over on the moors, but down here not no sun at all, so I doubt if I'll get even bothered to get the camera out or to find any light today. Right, on we go. Oh. <sighs> While I'm filming this, just to let you know, this little video is not sponsored by Square Pace, Space, Square Pace, <laughs> Square Space, or Thomas Eaton, or anybody else. No Paul Johnson, no Paul Compton. It's being sponsored by me. And I'd like to say thank you to Hole in My Pocket buying all this damned equipment, I'm skint you. I think I'm going to have to just start one of these crowdfunding sites to raise some capital so that I can go out more to places I haven't been before. And I could say all that again, couldn't I? Sorry about that, I was talking to the back of the camera, wasn't I? You was looking at my wife's bottom going up the path, but I get it that bit out. As I say, would appreciate some crowdfunding here. <sighs> I'm turning you off for a moment anyway. There's lots of opportunity here for photography. As you can see, a bit untidy, some of the a lot of distractions in the bank, but Able body, I'm specific for the able body. Certainly not me. There are loads and loads of opportunity to take shots. If there was a light on this today, I would stop just here and take a photo of this. I hope you can hear me over the roar of this water because I, I got the zoom in my bag, but I'm on a bit of a downer at the moment. My illness is giving me a bit of jip, so I'm quite happy just to go along and basically do a little bit of vlogging to help you other guys out, should you want to come this way. I did notice when Tim Day came down and did water meet the other week, he did the fall at Waters, mate, but sadly, Tim, you didn't, as far as I'm aware, walk the footpath from Waters, mate, down to Lynmouth. Shame on you, because you can't do it with a camper van. Path's too narrow for a start, you. Anyway, what happened was, I was going somewhere else, you. But I decided at the last minute to come up here. Because I like to sit up here and I can go and get some fish and chips later if, if I want because I didn't bring many sandwiches today. Today on the menu, 
we got bear with me I'm a bit breathless egg and bacon uh, or Sarah was going to put cress in there as well I haven't I haven't done that look yet got plenty of coffee Ooh. not far from water's meat now this waterfall just here is very accessible even I can get down to that one and there's a couple of ledges there where you can park your bottom down but you need to come when it's quiet otherwise it's heaving with children bless them swimming in the pools we're only 100 yards from water's meet now so if it was in season we could get a cup of tea but as it isn't we can't gotta wait till I get me coffee back at the car This is the main waterfall at Waters Meet. Sadly the tea room was closed and the toilets were closed. The website said they were open, but don't always believe what they tell you. I'm just going to run you down here and then I'll run you back. This is off the bridge that spans the river. Could do with a little drop more well perhaps not sometimes there's too much water and you can't get any definition in the water but as you can see it's flat as a pancake there's no light um in my younger days i'd get down there with me wellingtons and take a picture got pictures at home so i ain't bothering today there's nothing outstanding today as i said there's no light but a nice flow of water you get definition in the water Right, it's getting a bit dark too, so I'm going to make my way back down the other side of the river and I'll, let, I'll see you when I get back to the car and uh, what more can I say? Podgy snabber over and out for the moment. I'll have to make a rug about this bit of just a walk really, not anything else because coffee shop was shut, the toilets were closed and the National Trust website said it was open according to a couple I've just spoken to up, up at the uh, coffee shop. Huh. One day perhaps I'll get the hang of this vlogging or I might just knock it in the end, sell all the stuff on, and let somebody who's you can talk to cameras and be more constructive do the vlogging. Me, I'll just carry on and take me photographs. I find it, I find it very hard. I can, I can yap for England, but I can't put together a constructive vlog. Even though I got the most stunning scenery at times, I just get enthralled in the surroundings. Anyway, what can I? As you see, I'm lost for words. Some people, they, they seem to be able to rattle this off, unless they're just editing out all the gaps in their dialogue. Whereas I like to try and do it all in one go, I do. Much more fun that way. <sighs> we'll stay on the, the riverside walk to go back the way we came up. The woodlands walk is very nice in the spring and summer when you've got the foliage. Just out of curiosity, look at this. Make you pan you up, look at that, that rock face there, look. Has it got a lot of scree, as you can see. My wife's getting fed up and going on without me. No, I don't blame her in the least. There. Oh! I don't know if you just heard that across the river, but there was a tremendous rockfall off that 
cliff and a boulder came down the size of a car crashed right down through practically took a tree out and it came right down onto the footpath the other side no what I'm glad I wasn't over there but in all the years I've come up this way I've never seen or heard anything like that the ground shook with it quite unnerving that quite unnerving indeed People were walking along that path the other side just now and that's, that boulder was, to say, the size of a mini. If we crossed over the bridge then, it would have come down as we got to the footpath. So always be on your guard when you're out in these conditions. Well, to finish off this vlog today, I've come down to Lynmouth on the seafront. I've had my sandwiches and my coffee. There's no light about today. But what I will do is I'll leave you a parting view of Lynmouth at the end of the vlog. You all have a good uh, day. Stay safe out there. This is Podgy Snapper. Bye bye.